Boys. Hey, good morning everyone. Guess what? We're free camping. Off grid, finally off, off grid. Off grid. Mate, we're, um, oh geez, an hour and a half from the coast, in between four national parks. I think it's called Bretta Reserve. It is, it's Mate, beautiful. This is as far west as you've been, or as far yeah. off grid you've ever been, eh? Yeah. So it's we all... managed, we yeah. survived, we had a good meal. Mate, we had a good breakfast. We had steak last night with corn on the cob and spud. Ali steamed that. I'm the Coleman. And then this morning, Alison cooked up some eggs and, and toast. And we had a beautiful coffee. We've got to thank 22 grams over Foster. Absolutely. Thanks thank for, you, Chloe thanks, and the girls. Thanks for grinding it up as a gift. Yes, that was beautiful. Anyway, we're going to go cruise around the national parks now, see what's going on. It's um, We're just loving it. There's a great river here. It's, um, it's the beginning of the Menin River. And they reckon there's plenty of trout and bass, so we're going to give that a go later on too, baby. Are we? <laughs> we are. Oh. We might catch a fish. We might. Chappie's loving it. He's rolled in shit already. Yep, cow poop last night. Couldn't couldn't resist. So we hope to our grandkids and to our children, we are safe. Nana hasn't buried Poppy, and Poppy hasn't buried Nana. <laughs> Chappie's keeping us together. <laughs> <laughs> Love yous. Take it easy. Hope Bye. you enjoy the vid. I'm going, sure you're going to. And remember, you come party with Artie. See ya. Walking along the Manning River. Got that in the background, are they? But we're not in. Oh, there's a Kauri. lizard down there. <laughs> a couple of blue tongues and water dragons cruising around. Oh. Look, it's um, forecasted rain. We haven't seen has come overcast. Yeah. But we've um, tied down the battens just in case. We were going to travel to another place, but we thought, no bugger, we like it here. Off the grid, like we said, there's no radio reception. No, nothing. No, no, no television. TV. No phones. No phones. Just us two voices talking to each other. <laughs> Poor chaps. <laughs> Learning about each other. Loving each other. Absolutely. We'll keep going. See ya. Keep going. Just an old man and his dog. That's gorgeous Arthur and beautiful Chappy walking along the river. Walking along the river. Ooh, he's a wise Never know man. what you could find. I'm looking for gold. Gold. Good luck with that. <laughs> Look at the old man. He thinks he's Ned Kelly, a bush ranger, <laughs> with shorts and a singlet, <laughs> and a poop bag in his hand. <laughs> Modern day. <laughs> Ten to six on day two. What's it doing, girlfriend? Well, we've had dinner, and finally the rain's here. The rain's are coming. The, the rain are coming. is here. Those um, mature enough in age, we probably remember that ad. They go running out with the soap. Yeah, so she started running through the valley here and um, man, it's unreal. It's just so peaceful. You know when you were little and you had a cubby house and you nice and warm? And you think you were so belly? That's how I'm feeling now, I don't know about you. Yeah, it's good. Man, it's doing so much for my bloody head. Absolutely loving it. Oh, I'm glad it's doing something for his head. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still in love. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> we'll catch you in the morning, eh? Day well, three. Love you guys. Bye. Preparing a night for us. Snags and a wrap. Snags and a wrap.
the dirty old coal. Hi there everyone, we're in Tankari and we're staying at the um, Tankari Sporties Club. Club on their grounds. We've done a complete um, circuit, about 4,000 4, kilometres. We have. Complete circle in our shakedown for the, um, the old Snow River Caravan. We've got an SRC 21, only 21 foot on the outside, 19 foot on the inside. Yeah, it's quite lovely, we love it. We actually, um, lo and behold, we've Travelled within probably two hours radius of our um, our address. I know. I hadn't seen our backyard before. And no. Mate, how beautiful it is. Oh, we loved it. It yeah. was so scenic for one thing. Yeah. And also just all the amenities that are out there for people to use. It's real eye opener, eh? Real eye opener. Anyway, we um we're off the grid. We we did everything from the. The caravan parks where we first purchased the vehicle, then did some driveway yeah. parking at yeah. our daughters out at Orange. We did. Then we headed around via Dubbo and um, yeah. stayed at Dunny Doo, we which did. we'd spoken about at in the, the previous... showground. Yeah, oh no, it was a caravan park, Dunny Doo. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's then right. Singleton, we stayed at the showground. Yeah. Apparently, that's where I was conceived, but that's just a story I'm going to keep going now. I've got no <laughs> one to back me up. It was beautiful, there. Yes. It was. Then from there, we, um, yeah, we rolled back up to the showground at Tari and what fantastic facilities oh, they've got, eh? Great facilities. The caretaker really looks after it. Yeah. So, you know, we love it. And anyway, we had some, Alison had some surgery, obviously. We were down in Sydney. We stayed at Dural and she's had her tonsils out and her um, palate lifted, eh? Yeah. And you're feeling all right now, girl? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. It's better so throat. Yeah. We, we did have something really funny happen. We'll talk about it at the end. <laughs> We're talking about that in lessons learned. <laughs> yeah. But look, um, we had to come back into civilization as we're calling it because um, Ali's got a follow up on a throat. Then once that's done, and, and a sleep therapy one or sleep. Sleep apnea. Um, I'm just going for a sleep study again to see where my sleep apnea is at now that I've had my tonsils and my palate lifted. So hopefully it'll be a little bit better, but I don't think I'll be machine free. But that's okay because it helps me. Look, we have a we have a bit of a giggle, Ali and I. Like, okay, um, <laughs> you know, when you're young and I don't know, you might have those erotic toys. <laughs> you look up here, they're the erotic toys that Ali and I have now. Is our CPAP hoses and masks. <laughs> and how cool it! It runs off our uh, 12 volt. But we've got the we've got this mat on top of the uh, bed at the moment. That's because of Chappie. But Ali's going to um, obviously give you a talk about that at another time. Yep. Yeah, so we stayed off grid. Yeah. That was out at Brett High, Brett High Reserve. Um, Brett High Reserve yeah. outside of Gloucester. Yeah, managed to I by Mid, Mid Coast Council, which Mid yep. North Coast Council or Mid Coast Council? Yeah. Um, and it's uh, near Barrington or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up near past Barrington. Up near it looked past Barrington. totally on 12 volts, which was cool for four or five days. Oh, it was so good. I yeah. mean, we cooked outside and just chilled out, read. Had soft drinks, juice. One of the great points is, um, or a couple of the great points, what we um, added to the uh, caravan is, A, we got rid of the chemical toilet and put in a... I uh, love the compost toilet. And it is so true. There is no smell whatsoever. And it's the best decision we made, especially when we stayed at the reserve because yeah. everybody else had to find a dump point. Well, there was no dump point no. there, so they had to use the the hole in the ground yeah. and you see them waddling off to do their poops. And we have a little bit of a posh hole in the ground. <laughs> but our compost toilet is beautiful, we love it. Yeah. I know, compost toilet, why are we talking about toilets? But seriously, when you're caravanning, you know, people complain about smells and this and that. We have none of that in ours and we're grateful we made that decision. And we installed it ourselves, which is a well, Tim the Tool Man, it. Bob the Builder. <laughs> Look, the other thing we have which helped us out um, is we got rid of the 120 amp AGM, and I'll put that in the back of the, the Muso, and we've got 250 amp hour Solar Kings. Yeah. Now, we're not, we're not sponsoring any, so I can mention names, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Hey, they, never, they never went off, uh, off being full. No. No. We were very lucky. So anyway, we did that, then we travelled around Borla, so we hung around our backyard, some beautiful areas around here, some beautiful country. Yeah. We pulled up at the Buller Dealer uh, Golf Club, which is on the highway. Um, that's a donation. That's not bad. That's not bad, and we had a beautiful Chinese meal. Yeah. So if you're at the Bulladilla Golf Club, 
go and have a Chinese meal because it is delicious. It's more of one of the Malaysian Chinese end, but still great food. So anyway, um, what we've learned, <laughs> and we've learned a lot of worked out USBs, a 240, <laughs> they're not um, DC, but that wasn't a problem. No. But the mattress? Oh yeah, the mattress. So we, um, when we got the mattress, we didn't realize that it's upside down and we needed to turn it over. It only took us about six weeks to figure that one out. And that was pretty handy. That was. And it had a, a mattress topper on as well, so you yeah. just imagine the difference. And the second one is, and it's a word we use when we're camping out here, Alison, and actually came from, came from my military background. What's that word? Focus. Focus. <laughs> you need to focus on things. <laughs> now you're doing half a dozen things at once, and Alison um, was given a great example of what happens when you don't focus. <laughs> Please let me explain it to you. <laughs> Hey, she gets a chair, it's a one, I don't know when it was, but it was a beautiful morning in between the showers of rain and we're sitting out just sunning ourselves in the morning and she goes up and plops a chair just anywhere in the paddock, sitting down with a cup of coffee and as she sits in it, mate, it was like Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall. <laughs> she rolled back, the legs were in the water and the coffee went buggery, eh? Hey? <laughs> I made sure the coffee didn't fall on me though. That was my focus, not my head that oh, banged mate. the floor. Well, like, I've hit my head very hard. I've hit my head very hard. I tried to stop laughing, but I couldn't. So whilst we're in town today, Ali went and saw her um, chiropractor and you got some strained yep. neck muscles. If you want to see a great chiropractor while you're in Foster, go see Terry Soper. She's the best. She's holistic and she fixed me up. So thank you, Terry. So Ali knows now to check your ground when you're putting something down to make sure it's firm. Yeah, yeah, I know that now. Well, that's the end of our um, six weeks um, shakedown of this caravan, both um, online and offline. And uh, we we're don't want to jinx ourselves, but we love the snowy. Yeah. We haven't had any leaks. Not a leak <laughs> so whatsoever. Far. Haven't had a problem with it. <laughs> yeah. And um, the muso, we haven't had a problem with it. We've just got to put some yeah. air shocks in it just to raise a little bit. But that won't be till closer to Christmas. Look, something like that. Yeah. Um, if they haven't arrived yet, and they'll probably end up at my daughter's place out at Orange. If you take it easy, look after yourself, and. Um, you know what to do. If you want to party, you come party with Artie. Love you guys. See ya. Cheers. Bye.